Bloody hell, I think I burnt the pudding. I think yeah. I burnt the pud babes. It smells like fireball. Spread it and let it drip, boy. I'm gonna stick to what I do on Christmas and um, play Fortnite for five hours and beat kids who have just got a Nintendo Switch under the tree. Merry Christmas, everybody! Today we are trying traditional Christmas meals and drinks, most of which Lukey Boy here has never tried. People say white people have no culture. That is true, and I haven't even tried that culture. What have you tried? Usually I just go turkey, I like shortbreads, and I have freddos after. <laughs> you are such a child. No, I know, I've tried pudding. I know, I'm all about Christmas pud. I used to be, I don't really have it anymore. This is the food and drink suggested by you guys. Did you just touch the... Yeah. There's been stuff cooking what? on the stove. I can't believe the oven's hot. <laughs> So, so most of these foods Luke hasn't tried before. I also haven't tried things like the pudding and stuff. Um, You've never had all of pudding? These, yeah, I haven't had the pudding. You've never had pudding? I haven't had the pudding. I realized once I saw it. What is the pudding? Like, like any pudding? Any Christmas pudding. Never had Christmas pud. I've never had Christmas pud before. That feels illegal. I don't like fruit. It's okay? so sad that we're both adults like trying Christmas food for the first time. <laughs> How sad about life to be. We're really sad. What are we doing? <laughs> no, I just feel like every every family has their own Christmas traditions. Yeah. And we do like a couple of these, but not all of them. We do the mince pies. Is that what these are? Yes. Yeah, I just don't like them. Christmas mince pies, but from Baker's Delight, because they're the best ones. I probably do like them. I bet I'll like them. They're so good. And then, I've made the two exciting ones that I've actually taken time to make is I've created mulled wine. Thank you for leaving your recipe suggestions in our DMs. I got a lot of recipes, but no one actually gave me the quantities. Ooh, okay, y'all like gave me the ingredients, but you didn't tell me how much to put in, so I had to guess that part. It smells like fireball. Like a hot donut in a yeah, pot. Yeah, when I, when I started cooking, I was like, that's a lot of smells. Yeah. For my nostrils. Pot nut. We've, of course, got eggnog. Now, I haven't had eggnog since the last time my mother made it, probably back in 2016, when she put like an entire bottle of brandy in that shit. I don't know what eggnog is, to be honest. Can I guess one of the ingredients? <laughs> Go on. Egg. Yes. And then we've got, obviously, the Christmas put, and then my Christmas tradition, which is brie cheese, and can you guess the ingredient that I put in there? What Maple thing am I- syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Maple syrup. Yeah. Is um, literally like Buddy from Elf. She just covers everything in maple syrup. She oh watched God. that Will Ferrell movie and got inspired. I did. I did. Like, I put a, that shit on everything. Like, put this way, no one else cites Buddy from Elf as their food inspo. This gal, right here. All right, what one would you like to try first? Would you like a beverageino, or would you like to try? Start me off with, with a beverage. Cold wine. Or I want the cold wine. I want the egg nog. So okay. I'm just gonna put that off. I didn't like egg or nog. It's very scented. And is this just for old people that can't taste anything, so they put spice in wine? Probably. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's been on the stove. <laughs> Why is I was like, I've never had a hot wine. <laughs> oh! My nostrils. You don't like it? Not really. Not really. Can I, uh, no. Try, can you try it somewhere? This is like a traditional Christmas beverage from my culture. Oh my god, I can't do it. He's got the prime out. Oh. Cough syrup. Alright. <laughs> it's not a great ad. I would rate that. Uh, two and a half elves. Yeah. Been... I would rate it three elves. Three elves? Yeah. Yeah, two and a half for me. That's not a great rating, it's a six out of ten. I'm not going to add it to my Christmas tradition. Yeah. I'm going to stick to what I do on Christmas and um, play Fortnite for five hours and beat kids who have just got a Nintendo Switch under the tree. Alright, what do you want to do next? You choose. I adore brie, my baked brie. Cheese, from it. I like cheese. I feel like half the people watching this are too young to get that reference and they're just like, why is it gone? Cheese. That's okay, I'll put it in. Cheese, grommet. Lovely cheese, grommet. Cheese. Mmm, so healthy, huh? <laughs> oh, yum, yum, yum. Cheers. It's good. Are you not even eating it, you <laughs> motherfucker? Mmm. It is good, but I... 
I feel like it's gonna. I'm gonna have a blood clot after this. <laughs> what do you mean? Like it feels like it's taking like 30 seconds of my life. Every bite. So good. Yeah. I would rate that three and a half elves out of five elves. Three and a half? That's a five out of five. Wanna wash it down with some eggnog? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> this might not be hot enough, but... Oh, that slaps so hard. If I could have a baby with this eggnog. Oh, I wanna reproduce with this so bad. Oh, I want little baby eggnogs. Cheers. Oh, that's way better than I thought it would be. What did you think it was gonna taste like? Egg. Just egg. egg I said... Because <laughs> I, I didn't know what, what nog was. That? So scared of what nog could be. I was like, what's a nog? I, I didn't even know what nog was. I, I don't know, know why it's before. called the nog, but it, it, it's good. I'm, I'm going to nog again. I would nog again. I would nog again. I would rate this four and a half elves out of five elves. Yeah, I'm going to go four and a half as well. Not wow. quite as good as the brie, but... This is the best Christmas ever. Now, Luke, would you like the pud or the tart? I think we need to end with a bit of Christmas pud. Okay. But... Quis tart Christmas tart. I think I have had these before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mick's doing the Christmas dance. Christmas dance. Oh yeah. We're both doing a Christmas yeah. dance. Oh yeah, this pie fucks for sure. Ooh, four Christmas elves out of five. Yeah, no same. Four Christmas elves, maybe even four and a half. Four and a half Christmas elves? Okay, maybe, maybe four. I didn't think it would come to this point in this video but I feel like I've been missing out. That's what I said. To be fair, I didn't know about the eggnog. Yeah. I, I was like, strict no on eggnog. But I'm never gonna have this again. I'm not gonna change my ways. I'm not a big dessert guy. This might shock people. I don't really eat desserts. I like chocolate, that's about it. I didn't go the traditional route with this one because I, I knew that I wouldn't like traditional pudding. What pudding did you buy? I got a Christmas chocolate pudding. Oh, what's that? What? Oh, never mind. I had the inside. I got two elves out of five. What? Two out of five elves. Why? You heard me. I'm doing a cross section. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This must be making people so angry. Get a close up on that. Oh my god. Oh, just delicious. Really spread that shit over there. Oh, yeah. Spread it. Spread eagle. Pudding. Spread it and let it drip, boy. It is dark chocolate. I like my chocolate diverse. The final tasting of traditional Christmas foods ending with a good pud. Cheers, friend. Oh! Oh, that slaps. Yeah. Oh my God. Why is it like liquid? That's a five out of five elf pud. What? Five out of five elves. All hail the pud queen. That, yeah, five out of five. All right, so Luke, summary of all of our Christmas traditions. The cheese, yep. that's a heart attack on a piece of toast. Love a heart attack. This. Tasty cum. Sure. Mmm. <laughs> Why don't you do that to mine? Because it doesn't taste good. Okay. That tastes like how Christmas should feel in your mouth. The pud, that pud was everything. The, I can't believe I have been going my life without that pudding in my mouth. Yeah. And the mulled wine, I think, is a, a texture in my mouth that I'm not ready for yet. It's going in the bin. And it's it... going in the bin. <laughs> the way that the British should have done it in the first yeah. place, they should have put that shit down the drain. It's fucking trash in a glass, isn't it? The reason why I haven't done these things in Australia, I think, is because most of these things are warm. Actually, the biggest, the number one thing that you guys suggested when we put up the question, what traditional foods and drinks do you have on Christmas? Mountain Dew. There, oh. I did see a Mountain Dew. <laughs> we have the yeah. saddest fan. No, yeah, but then this is our culture to a T. Everyone just said like having a cold bevy on Christmas day. And they each just said different cold beverages, like a beer, Yeah. they had a cruiser. It was just different alcohol. Another year done. Another year over. Thank you so much for getting me to try new things. That's okay. Sorry, my hands are sweaty. I got really excited over the pudding and now my hands are sweaty. My hands are always sweaty. Oh, he's going back to the bowl of wine. Whose grandpa is this for? All right. My tongue wants to die. And on that note, we bid you farewell. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching us try things. This is a big step for me in my personal development. So it's, thank you so much, Meg, and thank you so much for being here. 
to watch it. I did a thing today. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. If there's one takeaway that you can get from this video, it's try the nog. Yeah, as the Veronica's famously once said, nog, nog, nog me up. I wanna feel the nog in my mouth. Anywhere is good enough. Nog me up. <laughs> and 